in the cold was awful. Um, it was noisy, it was too light, it was of course it was cold. Um, obviously you get some slight sense that people have the vulnerability people have, although that the sleep out of course you're safe because there's so many people around. But you could start to imagine that um, sleeping on the street is a position of you know, real fear and vulnerability. So it was awful. Um, and the only thing for me, of course, is I only had to do it one night. Um, but that made my heart go out to those who have to do it night after night. So I, I participated in the sleep out to raise funds, which of course meant I advertised that I was doing it. But I think some people know that I've been a volunteer for the night shelter for I think eight years now. Uh, Spean Baptist Church, of which I'm a member, introduced me to the night shelter when it first started. And uh, I've been a volunteer every, every year since. And uh, I do it because I care about it, I always have. I used to work in a day shelter when I did my master's degree um, back in Oxford, when I was at Oxford doing, doing that degree. Um, and it's just always seemed to me that in a highly developed welfare state that spends so much money that it is just a real outrage and tragedy that anybody ends up going with no roof over their head. The main advice for participants is definitely wrap up warm because it's cold sleeping out and um, I think if anybody's got a bad back they should just make sure they look after themselves with a the mattress but I think as soon as you start talking about doing things like that, whether it's an airbed or whatever, you start to realise that you get an advantage by just doing it the one night and not having to carry all your things with you. So I would say wrap up warm, uh, make sure you're as comfortable as you can be that one night and um, a secret of using cardboard is keep it, low. keep it low, that's apparently the secret. So those would be my tips. story uh, was, wasn't when I was sleeping out, it was when I was a volunteer um, and it was in Wesley Methodist and I was standing by the back door where people go for a cigarette in the morning and I was unshaven in jeans and trainers and a t-shirt and a hoodie and one of the guys turned to me and said, um, I understand the MP's coming this morning, what do you think he's like? <laughs> so uh, I think I had to Google myself, he didn't believe me when I said I am the MP. So he didn't believe me, so I had to Google myself and show him the photo, uh, which was quite fun.